Hey, good to see you. After the last video, I got a few questions about TubeBuddy, the YouTube plugin that can help you with YouTube SEO and generally ranking higher in YouTube search. Just imagine this scenario. You've worked hard to create a great video, you're offering lots of value, but for some reason it's just not ranking high enough on YouTube and you're not getting the traffic you deserve. Well, that happens quite a lot because besides creating a really good video, you're also supposed to do a few things in order to get more traction and getting more people to see your video. This is where YouTube SEO comes in. It's not as complicated as Google SEO, it's a more simplified version, but still there are a few things you could do to get your video to rank higher on YouTube searches and get more clicks and get more people interested in your content. So there are a few ways to ensure your YouTube SEO is good. There's the manual way in which you research keywords, you research trends, you do some research on YouTube videos that work really well and then try to model that content. You also have to do some research on tags and how to include them in your text to get a better ranking or you go for the automated way where you use a plugin that helps you step by step ensuring you get the best SEO for your video. The plugin that I've used the most and that I really enjoy is called TubeBuddy and the reason why I like it so much is that it has everything in one place. So keyword research, trends research, tags research, everything is there. It also shows how your videos stack up against other videos. But let me give you a quick tour of TubeBuddy since that's why we're here anyway. The reason I like TubeBuddy so much is that it's a one-stop shop for everything I need YouTube SEO related. So you've got the, let's say, analysis module, then you've got the research module, and then you've got the improvements and checklist module. The analysis part is quite comprehensive. You've got it here on the right, and you can see exactly how well the video is doing. You've got the views, you've got the comments, you've got the likes and dislikes. Then you've got the SEO section where you can even see how high you rank on different tags and you can see it here. Then you've got the social stats where you can see how many likes your video got if you share it on Facebook or mentions on Twitter. And then you have the general channel stats. What's interesting is that you also get the best practices list. So you see I've checked a few of the best practices moves but not all of them. Another really cool aspect is that you can compare your video to another video, let's say my channel's most popular video, and then just see how they stack up against each other. And you can do this with any video, even videos that are not yours. The statistics part is basically the same in any YouTube plugin, but now let's go into the dashboard and see the other modules. A really cool feature is the Keyword Explorer. Here you can see what's trending. And from here you choose the country, like let's see what's trending in Nigeria. If you're creating content for Nigeria or for Ireland. And you get a general sense of what people are searching at the moment. You could do this with Google Trends too, but I like the fact that TubeBuddy has everything in one place. So I don't have to jump around tabs, copy things to clipboard and things like that. It's just easier for me. Then there's the keyword research, which is, let's say, video optimization. This module helps you understand if the keyword you're going for is going to get you views and also give you suggestions of more searched keywords or where competition is not that strong. So you've got the overall score of your keyword and then you have some related and some common video tags. The related are other keywords or key phrases that you could use or focus on like video optimization SEO, video optimization online, video optimization for web. Also you've got the tags. So YouTube SEO, how to rank YouTube videos, and you've got a lot of video tags and ideas here. And you could just add them to your topic planner in order to have them ready when you're uploading your video. Then you could see what your main competition is on that search term. Here you've got some stats on other YouTube videos like title, views, and basically what you need to know before you make a decision. And you can see what titles work best and what they have in common. This might give you an idea of how to write your own YouTube video title. Another tool you might enjoy is the thumbnail generator. Maybe you don't really like Photoshop or you don't like spending a lot of time creating your thumbnail, so this is a good option. The thumbnail generator lets you choose a still frame from the video, use a solid color or use an image you already have. You'd probably go with a still frame and just choose one Okay, you just add some text. You could add images that you already have. See? You could add shapes, you could add emojis, or you could create your own template in order to have some really quick way to really do thumbnails on the fly. 
You might also be interested in the health report, which gives you an overview of the health of your channel. You've also got bulk processing, if you're thinking of editing more videos at once. Comment moderation, which I don't really use. The best practice checklist, which you'd probably use the most when you upload a new video. And the videolytics, which I showed you earlier. You've also got industry news, which lets you know what's happening in the YouTube world. And then the milestone section, which just keeps you motivated, seeing that you're doing good things and helping you move forward and create more content and be happier about it. Let me show you quickly how the SEO studio works. So you enter your target keyword, say YouTube SEO. And then on the right, you've got your checklist. And then on the left, you've got your title and your description. So you can see here on the right that your SEO score increases when you follow this checklist. And here are the tags and you've got a lot of suggested tags that will work with your content. Then you get to create your thumbnail, but you can also see what the most viewed videos have as a thumbnail. Okay, so this might serve as a bit of inspiration for you. And then as you've done this, you just go apply to video and you're good to go. Another cool feature is the best time to publish. You've already got this in your YouTube studio, but this way you just don't have to search for it anymore. It's just there. And as you can see, the best time to publish for me is at 1 p.m. on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 12 p.m., Thursday and Friday 1 p.m. and Saturday at 12 p.m. You can also see what other videos your audience is watching and also some more detailed information about your audience. These are the features I really like about it. And this has been my short overview of TubeBuddy. If you ask me, I think you should try it because it's gonna give you a few more ideas on content creation and it's gonna get you a bit more organized. Also, your SEO score is going to increase. So just give TubeBuddy a try. I hope you liked this video and that you found it useful. And if you did, a subscribe and a thumbs up would be amazing. Also, drop me a comment and tell me what you want to talk about next. And I will see you in the next video.